Jen, you're glow gal, and if you thought the world news was boring, you're wrong! because Cuba caught them saying some pretty mean things behind their back. So, what did the Pope say exactly? That Cuba's Marxist political system no longer responds to reality and a new system must be found. Oh no you didn't. What did Cuba have to say about this? The VP of the Council of Ministers said there would be no political reform. <laughs> oh Cuba, haven't you heard? Skinny jeans, capitalism, and mustaches are totally in right now. <laughs> the craziest story of this week, and maybe ever, is also of biblical proportion. So, a group of Chinese Christians think that they have found none other than the Ark. You know, Noah and his Ark with the two by two. Actually, if you don't know about that by now, then just... There's a lot of skepticism. But, photographs taken of Mount Ararat show that there is a man-made structure that does follow the description of the Ark in the Bible. And plus, it's pretty darn close to where the Bible indicates that the Ark should be if we were to find it. Cray cray, and yes. That is a biblical term. Well, this must be the week because another entity that could do no wrong got down and dirty in the news this week. Starbucks! What? A vegan barista out of the conglomerate for using bug abstract in their strawberry frappuccinos. Wait, bug abstract? Is that not vegan? <coughs> Starbucks has responded to say that this is their part of only using all natural ingredients and that the bug extract replaces unnatural dyes. Hmm, I don't know Starbucks, I feel like it's kind of a lose-lose situation here. Personally, I'm just gonna stick to the Starbucks coffee drink. Well, that's it for now. I'm Jen, your Glow Gal, and this has been yet another Breakfast Burrito Mini. See, that wasn't so bad.